connect to this last one, which is some kind of leather. This is something that I am not requiring, but I want to get a little bit crazy with the color to be able to show you that the principle that any value can be represented by different colors. I said that backwards. I should probably say any color can work if it's the right value. So this could be done in black if it was black leather, but or tan. But I remember years ago I had an artist that did a stamp, a postage stamp, of a famous black person and he wanted to give himself the challenge of painting the black person without using brown. It was gorgeous. And so that's kind of what I'm going to show here. Not because, again, because they're requiring it, but I want you to just see how that principle can be used. Lighten 
some of these areas. and has to cover what's there, I'm going to use something that's fairly opaque. Well, actually, it's quite opaque. So that means that I will use a good amount of light. I'm choosing to use the airbrush for this because it's the most representative of the texture. I'm after, which in this case is pretty smooth. Necessarily copying what I see. I want some variety 
and which highlights I want to be emphasized, and all the different shades. What would make an interesting shade? of some form there. Now, just because I want to get totally goofy here and confuse you completely, I think the white highlights are looking really good. But, if I ever want to increase the colors painting or a painting's colors in saturation to make them brighter, spraying a color over white can be quite effective. So I'm going to leave the whitest highlights exactly as they are. pretty Las Vegas lounge act to me, so I'll stop there for the purpose of the demonstration.